Hello everybody, we are back more with another adventure and uh, today we are going to talk about Warrior. Yes, again, we are in the part, part 1, this thing, as you can see here, please do not go to the season of T-Rex right away. As I said before in the part 1 of the series of the, uh, the character creation, you need to go to the season where is 14 days left. Okay, do not go to the TRX or any of the server name right away because you have to be in the server uh, in the uh, hunting session where you can evolve your character much more easier and much more power where you can actually start to find a good team and the, um, uh, in increase your power from there. Okay, so be sure to click on the season. Do not click on the TRX because you're gonna be that is a global server where everybody ends up at. Uh, basically where everybody ends up after the season is finished yes after the season is finished so yes does the season give a lot of bonus yet yeah, it does give a lot of bonus so again i want you guys to know that please choose the character wisely but for now we are gonna go and talk about the warrior yes warrior for today everybody this guy the warrior class we are going to talk about this warrior because this is the character that i chose first yeah, it's not just because that i chose as a warrior first but this is the first character that we are going to be talking about which i chose as well and let's head into the game shall we but i am not gonna create a new character i am straight away gonna show you guys the, the character my current current character that has that is currently 195 with a power of um, a hundred million no no actually <laughs> not a million but uh, the 12 million 12.5 million all right so this is a warrior character of course the costume can be different because you had you can customize your costume uh, your character in the game but we're not gonna go through that okay we're gonna go through is the character good or not is the character uh, able to tank a lot of things i would say yes the character can tank a lot of uh, mobs but again if you don't have a good dps at the late game you ain't gonna do anything at all all right so let me just show you let me just show you guys the stats all right so on the battle log so this is the this this is the yeah the list that you should be looking at uh, let's just uh, challenge one of the mobs all right this is the boss we are going to the boss fight now and let me show you guys the uh, the, the other stats. So basically, this is so this is a DPS. The uh, Matt Jin is a DPS together with a Siege Mir. Pepe Girl Seven is my healer, and here I am being tanking, tanking every single hit from the mobs. Yes, this is the boss. We are tanking. Um, we are currently fighting the boss right now. As you can see, I'm surviving. The mob, the boss is only targeting only me because I'm the tank. I sustain all the damage while my DPS does all the damage. And once the uh, 60 second is up, is we are just we just, we just got 10 of snap. Okay, there's no way a four four team of tanks can survive this. But again, this can be different in the early game because what I'm showing you right now is a late game of Ulala, right? A late game of Ulala where I am still sustaining a lot of damage, but my tank does not do enough damage, and it looks like we did not succeed because um my dps did not did not finish uh, fighting and just check as you can see he just one snapped me and once one shot everybody and we are all dead as, yep this is the uh this is the uh, 60 seconds mark if you haven't fight if you if you if you cannot fight the boss at all all right so what you should do is that just keep improving just in keep improving your power that's what i can say but again this is the, i'm trying to recommend that when you uh, once you're in the early game, okay, please focus on your skills because every single skills, every single temper, every single thing is very very important. What you should be doing, even for the hero souls. To be honest, I kind of forgot when was the hero souls open for public. I hope that is uh, after uh, hunting session. Okay, if uh, hero souls didn't open up uh, before hunting session, then then if you. It is kind of balanced. It is kind of understandable because hero souls is very very important. Yes, but we are gonna go through that next time on the next video. Well, again, hero souls is very very strong. It's the most incredible incredible thing in Ulala. If you do not have the if you do not have legendary hero souls, then I don't know why you are playing Ulala for. 
<laughs> so yeah, and of course, uh, first thing first, attributes. Let's look at the attributes. What you should be going with? Should you going with the strength? No. You should be going with the stamina. Yes. Why? Why? Why stamina? Uh, why? Why stamina and technique, but not strength? Because you're a freaking tank. You're not going to attack. You're not going to hit. You are a tank. Okay. Remember, this is a video about warrior. Okay. I'm sure a lot of hunters out there. Uh, if you if you are a hunter, you can go for agility because that is the stats for hunter and an assassin. But for warrior or gladiator, go for stamina, dude. Okay, stamina, stamina, then technique. That is the that is the um we are you are the point of tanking the whole mobs, and there's no reason for you to reset. Okay, as you can see, place three stats on the stamina and two stats on the attack and infuse the energy that's it and increases oh, 3000 power that is a lot that is still a lot of power even though i already have like what 2.5 million but every single power counts okay guys so remember do not put your points on strength it is worthless okay you, you are not gonna attack enemies you are going to tank them but maybe in a situation where where you just did that one little click of a dps you can change it okay because you're still in a hunting session but if you're at the end game like me a uh, late game sorry not the end game late game like me no do not even think about going to attack all right because the mobs and everything even for pvp they're just gonna delete you from the game uh, instantly the, uh, the those dps those guys uh, they're just gonna instantly delete you if you don't even have enough block enough evasion enough hp armor tenacity and tenacity what is the tenacity is it useful for tank yes but which tank warrior why because the tenacity increases the the the, uh, the shield of my character basically as you can see um this part where this part the basically the armor and armor shield let me see let me find if i can see the sh yeah, i mean literally every single one of them is a shield so yeah this is uh increases the armor all right let's go one by one all right so shoot of protection obtain a shoot with 146 percent and plus 115,313 of armor for 12 seconds where did the armor came from basically uh go to your equipment attributes and this this is where you came from this part all right this is where you came from maybe it doesn't have if you don't have that then you, you are you are doing it all wrong okay so now this is where you get all the skills so first of all you're gonna start at the uh what call it the uh, primitive plane pr primitive plane or uh, uh, somewhere where uh in the first continent and once you once you unlock and once you go through cobble coast a fire continent and you will be unlocking some of the uh, some of the skills and one of the tips is that please do not use your skill right away and the, the skill virtue okay do not use your skill virtue right away save them once you unlock every single skill uh, until you finish up with prim, prim, uh, until you finish up with everything oh wait i uh, kind of reverse there it should be uh here primitive plane yeah primitive plane yeah prim uh, primitive plane resolution gonna shoot an armor for gonna shoot shoot of armor for 12 seconds and just keep increasing your power from here um and the sub bar there's a, until you get the come here yes come here yep so yeah that's a tip and and let's go through the skill one by one just to show you guys if, if uh, being a tank is actually useful yes it is because again call to arm inspire your party to increase the attack hunter assassin mage um uh, a warlock does not have this kind of skill okay they don't have they do not have this kind of skill the call to arms or gladiator and the warrior they have this kind of skill to increase the power of your teammates and this is very important because um it, it helps you to improve their power because if you can handle the boss damage then you can do you can call for two arms to increase your team damage to, inc to go even to go even further to increase the boost but uh you have well, you guys have to uh, understand that you have uh, um just please try to avoid uh, uh seeing the uh, 13 and the numbers because those are really, 
a late game kind of uh, evil, uh, a breakthrough. Those are called breakthrough. Okay, those are breakthroughs. Um, I'm sure you guys a lot of you guys would know by now, but those are breakthroughs. Once you once you finish the whole thing, basically the hunting, the skills, the skills area, you have to level up uh, the uh, the skill slot. Basically, the skill slot for this, and this is a toy area where toy is very very important in the game. Where, where it is very important in the game. Okay, I chose the bone ang ankylosaurus even though I'm in the late game. A lot of people didn't really choose the ankylosaurus, but I still go with this because I still. I want to survive through some some of the boss still kind of one shot me so this is why it's still important it's really based on your transformation and a lot of, of your skill set okay okay again you have to be mindful of what you choose okay protective stance and shield of protection comes together why because once you enter your protective stance uh, to increase your block by 56 percent during armor increases and successful block and once that's done after third hit, three hits of the um, the, uh, the the skill, and you uh, you will you will you will pop up a skill that is called shield of protection, which will obtain a shield of 146, which is more sh more armor. But this this for this, it, uh, if it's in the protective stance, the shield effect increases by 50%. So basically, basically, it's not only just 56 plus 146 it is no it's not only just 146 it's a, it's it's like about 300 percent almost 300 percent okay Tr almost 300 percent because it increased by 50 percent all right maybe a bit of a calculation uh, maybe just 250 percent okay i may I, I might be running the calculation a bit but you understand what i'm trying to say here so yeah you have to play around with the skills it is very important or especially to players who are still in the hunting session but i'm not trying to say that i'm not trying to say even in late game you cannot focus on a, on a set of skills no you still have to focus on the set of skills okay again different kind of skills can bring you into different kind of situation for example if i want to go with just protecting my teammates because they are so weak and i can go with the um which one was it again? Yeah, getting yourself the buff. Uh, what is it? Uh, is it? Safeguard. Yeah, the safeguard. Gain a shield of 18, 89% armor and take 60% damage received by your teammates with the lowest HP upon every attack. So, this with safeguard, with this skill, it helps to protect your backline from being killed by enemy mobs or enemy boss or players. So, yeah, you have to play around with the skills, it's very, very important. And this is the uh, hero transformation for for the uh, warrior. Of course, I could uh, I could uh, go with other things, but I chose to go with this. And plus the card, this is a recommended. Of course, uh, you don't have to max out all of these cards, but some of the cards like the rainforest, the fluff, and ego, uh, uh, desert, and and the uh, heart shield is very very important. But of course. If you look at the other players, they have they have a different kind of cards, but this is recommended to all my tank friends. Okay, to all my tank friends, this is recommended. But if you're different from me and you're higher level or higher power, and you don't want to change anymore, it's up to you. You might die early, or I mean, in the game. Okay, in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. In the game. Alright, but this again, if you have a better card than you can go with other 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 kind of um other kind of uh what call it car um stuff play style so yeah and toy box yes toy box you have to play around with this as well but of course i go with before casting basically give me a lot of a lot of set hp tenacity block and a lot more tenacity but basically when i i did say that tenacity gave a lot of uh, block damage so yeah all right so um this is the um the part of a warrior and also one more thing the temper yes the temper is also important guys please fix your temper to block attack armor and hp you do not need any other other stats than this okay do not go with at, at, uh, with head or impel or <laughs> those uh, or, or tenacity okay you don't know you don't need those because you are a warrior maybe um 
if it's for Gladiator, it can be a different story, okay? But for Warrior, this is the recommended stats, that is what I can recommend. And go with that, and do not, please, whatever you do, do not just try to max out your entire entire uh, temper right away with special temper or temper, okay? Save, up, save them up until you reach 200 level, if you are if you reach, actually reach that far. So yeah, reach, once you reach 200 level, that is where you should use your temper, because yes, here's the thing guys, you might think that, oh, 200 level is the end game, no. There's a thing called reincarnation where your character gets to level up again. And why level up again? To increase your power, of course. To increase even more power. Alright, so this is what you become. This is what you get. The uh, the power. Basically, you uh, you start over and you get a, a costume, another battle. And it's a, it's a costume where, where you know it increases a bit of power and at energy point for attributes but it, it restarts the whole thing so that you can improve more to your power and does this decrease your power no it does not decrease your power so as you can see here what you need is a eight skill is breakthrough again and once you unlock the whole skill then you use your skill voucher okay do not just randomly use a skill voucher right away so let me just show you guys right here do not just randomly just click on the skill voucher just because you unlock one skill all right because in AFK, you will gain a lot of skill by just being AFK, <laughs> literally. You can just gain a lot of skill. Like, you can even set your uh, AFK to gain more skills. Like, or over here, triple loot, loot increases. But of course, I have the, uh, uh, the uh, monthly pass on, the monthly privilege, so it increases a lot. Uh, so yeah, but currently, please go with shells, that is very very important. Especially to temper that to or to the late game, that is super important. So yeah, that is pretty much uh, it for um, the um, the warrior part. So overview warrior, if you cannot sustain in a fight, then you're pretty much dead. But if you can sustain the fight, then congrats. Again, you don't you cannot you're not gonna be doing a lot of damage. And oh yeah, for the pet for the pets. Tiger Kid is recommended, but if you don't have Tiger Kid and you have a bad Tipsy Bunny, go with the Tipsy Bunny. But if you don't have Tipsy Bunny or Tiger Kid, you can go with the um, uh, where is my Tiger? Uh, where's my Tiger Sh uh, Shadow Moon Wolf? Uh, or, or you can go with the Ball Lightning or the Cloud Piercing or the Shadow Moon Wolf. Is that up to this? Uh, is up to you to choose one of them. But if you don't have five of those, <laughs> well, 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 you can just go with the normal T Rex. Yes, Dark Wave T-Rex for now. But once you unlock a Shadow Moon Wolf, Club Piercing, or Ball Lightning, go with those, or better yet, a Tipsy Bunny, or in the Tiger Rock. Alright, Tiger Rock is 100% recommended together with Tipsy Bunny, because those two goes well together with a tank. Alright, because of the, of the special skills and, and the add and then basically uh, the combination of them all right it's not because it's a bun all right <laughs> so yeah and uh, that's pretty much it for warrior i hope i did not miss out anything uh, let me know in the, in the chat below if you got uh, in the comments below if you guys want to see what's more so yeah that's it for warrior i hope this helps on the next episode it's gonna be something new so yeah stay tuned everybody i'll see you guys next on the next episode of uh, ulala all right take care everybody peace and see ya